plotting points on the Cartesian plane or the number plane. Now you did meet the number plane last year, probably before, so we're just going to do a very quick review of what the number plane is. A number plane is two number lines crossed at right angles. If you're drawing a number plane, you must use a ruler and it's a good idea to use grid paper, but I didn't bring any, I'm sorry, because I use this lined paper. And you put your number line on the grid line. It's got a horizontal number line and a vertical number line. Now when you do number lines, you have to have even gradations, that means the little divisions that go exactly on the grid paper grid lines, which you can't see here because I don't have any, and they're equal distance apart, like this. So the even gradations have to be equal distance apart, so I'm using half a centimeter for each of mine, you can use a half centimeter grid square for each of yours. When you have even gradations, you'll remember that the number plane keeps going on forever in all four directions, which is why we put an arrow at the end of each. The horizontal axis is x, so this is the x axis, but you can just label it x. The vertical axis is the y axis, we just label it y. Number planes count, oh sorry, number lines count out from zero. So zero is right at the center, we don't usually, we can squeeze it in like that. Then I've got one, two, three, four, five, six here. And down here we count into the negatives. But you can see this goes six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. This will be negative one, negative two. And sometimes we have to squeeze things in a bit. So the negatives go down from zero towards the left, just like a normal number line would. Now the vertical one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and from zero we're counting down, negative one, negative two. So this is your number plane. It would be drawn on grid paper. It's worth knowing that zero right in the center is called the origin. And what we're learning to do, which we've already learned before, is plotting points on the Cartesian plane. A number plane, Cartesian plane, same thing, different name for it. So, any point on the number plane, so let's say for example this one here, can be described by saying where it lines up with on the x-axis, and where it lines up with on the y-axis. And I give the coordinates in brackets, so the coordinates describe where the point is. In brackets, I give the x-coordinate first, so that's 1, and the y-coordinate second, that's 2. So this is how we give coordinates. In brackets, and it's the x that it lines up with and then the y that it lines up with. The center is 0, 0 and that particular coordinate, that place, is called the origin. It's worth knowing that the four parts of the number plane are called the quadrants. The one where everything's positive is quadrant one, and then we go around in anti-clockwise. This is quadrant two, quadrant three, 
quadrant three, this is quadrant four. So that's the parts of the number plane, the axes, the different quadrants, and a reminder of what coordinates are. Now I don't need you to write the questions next because you'll be doing questions very like them. Just pay attention and remember how to do these. Give the coordinates of each point on this number plane. So point A, we, s we read down until we get to the x-axis. It's 3 on the x-axis. Across till we get to y, it's 4 on the y-axis. So we put brackets. The x value of 3 is first, comma, the y value of 4 is second. Point B, read up to the x-axis, we're at negative 2, bracket, negative 2. Read across to the y-axis, it's at negative 6. Point C, re well, it's already on the x-axis, so it's at 2 on the x-axis. And across to y, it's on 0. Point D is at the origin, 0, 0. The next question, plot and label each point on the number plane. Plotting just means draw the point where I'd like, where it needs to be. So E is 2, 4. I go to 2 on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis and I put a point in line with both of them and I label it point E. F negative 3 1. I go to negative 3 on the X and up to 1 on the Y so I'm in line with negative 3 on the X and 1 on the Y. I plot the point and I label it nearby. So if I'm asked to label a point and it's got a letter with it, that's what I do. I put the letter with it. G is at 6, 0. 6 on the x-axis and 0 on the y means we just stay there. H is at 0, negative 3. 0 on the x, down to negative 3 on the y. I is at 0, 6. 0 on the x, up to 6 on the y. So we've remembered how to give the coordinates of a point and how to plot and label a point on the number plane.